Baseball season is here. This year, Major League Baseball is going to be testing all of its players for Micro Jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. This week's video is also sponsored by Little Bit. I've got this fun, fast paced game called Fast Track or Finger Hockey. Each player starts with five discs on their side, and the first person to get all of the discs on the other side wins. And the one I made has a night gaming mode. I found some scraps of cheap pine lumber that I can rip down for the frames. I'm gonna use my miter sled to cut the miters for the frame pieces. I'm gonna make a rabbit along the inside edge of each of these pieces to hold the bottom. This step isn't absolutely necessary. You could just attach the bottom directly to the frame. I'm gonna use my drill press to bore two holes on each of the long pieces for the elastic. With this larger bit in place, I'm gonna drill halfway through the outside. So that gives me this smaller hole on the inside and then the larger hole on the outside that only goes halfway through. And now I can glue this frame up. And every time I use this clamp, I get people who ask me what it is. It, it's called a band clamp or a strap clamp, I think. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description so you can take a look at it. I find it invaluable really for gluing up picture frames because it gives you equal pressure on all four corners and makes sure it's nice and square. I like to get it all lined up first before I put the glue on the pieces. These corner pieces will just hook on like that and I like to take up as much of this slack as possible like that. I just put glue on one piece of a joint. I don't see any benefit to putting it on both. Sometimes the corners require a little adjusting. And then turn this to tighten it all the way. And that's all there is to using a strap clamp. Well, let that dry for an hour or so. And while that frame is drying, I can cut out this sheet of quarter inch or six millimeter plywood for the bottom. And I can test fit this. But I'm not going to glue that on yet. I think it'll be a lot easier to paint these pieces before I glue it together. With the frame all dry, I'm going to cut a thin groove, just the thickness of my saw blade, all the way around the perimeter for an inlay. I've got the blade raised just slightly above the tabletop. I'm slicing up this dowel into equal pieces to use for the game discs. And I'll spray paint these hockey puck colored. I've masked off the areas of this bottom piece that I'm gonna put glue on. Now I can glue the bottom on. I'll glue and tack this into place with my pin nailer. I'm cutting out a notch on this board for the little goal in the center. I've got some of these thin bungee cords that I need to modify just a little bit to get them to fit into those holes. These have hooks on each end and the ends are crimped together with a wire. So I need to cut that off of just one side. Now I can get that one off and slide the other hook off. I can slide this in through that hole and then this one that already has the knot on it will just kind of be hidden a little bit in that bigger outside hole. And I'll thread it through the opposite hole. Okay, I'm going to hold it in place with a clamp. I'll cut off a piece of this 18 gauge wire. I'll fold this over and then try to tie the wire around it. And then I'll try to crimp it down.
You can take this clamp off and let this spring back into place. And I can glue in this centerpiece. Now that that's all put together, let me show you what I'm gonna do with that groove that goes all the way around the edge. Although you could just kind of leave it like that. It's kind of a cool design element. If you'll remember, the last time I did a spot for a little bit, I showed you kind of the basics of how the system works. Let me put it into action. This module here is called a light wire, and I discovered that it fits perfectly into a slot made by a table saw blade. Building a circuit is the fun part. I'm gonna take this power module and plug it into battery. And then I can just make a simple circuit by taking my light wire and they just hook together like that. I can turn this on and see what it looks like. Let me turn out the studio light here and show you what it looks like. I think I can make that a little more exciting by putting this little pulse module on. Oh yeah. And I can adjust the speed of that pulse. I think the coolest thing about Little Bits is that it's great for both kids to have fun and learn electronics, but it's also good for prototyping, kind of like what I was doing here. I could easily switch out these little bits and test things, and if I ever wanted to include this as part of the project, then I could buy the individual components and wire it in. I think it's an awesome system. You or your kids can spend hours just playing around with it and coming up with whatever you can imagine. And Little Bits has a special offer for Woodworking for Mere Mortal viewers just go to littlebits.com and enter the promo code woodworking and you can take $20 off of your first order head over to littlebits.com and check out what they have there I think you'll be amazed Thank you for joining me on this week's episode of Woodworking for Mere Mortals. If you'd like to make the Fast Track Finger Hockey game, check below for a free set of plans. This is just one of many toy and game projects I have on my channel. You might want to check out one of my most popular ones, the Marshmallow Crossbow. Wyatt's going to see how far this thing shoots. And then when you push the trigger up, this plunger will come up. Pull this back. That crossbow is such a fun project. Don't forget all of my plans are free and available at 4 And I hope you get involved and become a Mimo and start posting pictures of your own projects over there in the community section. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you next week.